Good morning. And we begin our Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We begin the third week in this wonderful and holy week of Advent. And this weekend is called Gaudete Sunday. It anticipates the joy of celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my ways, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Grant this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The spirit of of Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned, adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God. 
My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to John. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, who are you? He admitted, and he did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, what are you then? Are you Elijah? 
And he said to him, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you so we can give an answer to those who sent us? What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany, across the Jordan, when John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. That's what St. Paul is saying this morning to each one of us. We know this season is about preparation to celebrate the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it is a season that must be filled with joy especially this week, is about the joy in anticipation within a few days that we are going to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. If I may ask, who among us rejoice always? Who? Is anyone who rejoice always here? I guess I'm the only one. <laughs> we know it is not always rejoicing because we experience a lot of things. We experience sometimes sadness, sometimes we are stressed, sometimes even feeling a kind of depression in our lives, and especially this time of pandemic. It's a difficult time for so many people around our communities, in the country, and around the world. This season is very different from last year's season. And people are not going to celebrate the Christmas the way we do it. Some people are going to celebrate alone. The family may not come because of the pandemic. And that brings sadness that brings stress, loneliness. But St. Paul still, he comes to us and says, brothers and sisters, rejoice always. And he, he makes a good point here. He says, in all circumstances, give thanks to God. For all of us who knows, when you are doing a thanksgiving prayer, it makes you connect with so many blessings around you. And that could make you feel a kind of joy in your heart, in your life. For example, we see around the country so many, I mean, long lines of vehicles, people going to get to, uh, food. Some of them, this is the first time they have been asking for food. And they don't want to come on the camera so that people would see them. They are ashamed. But it's a very difficult time. It's a very challenging time. But still, we need to find a way of rejoicing. And that's why when we are doing a thanksgiving prayer, you look into your life and say, I am blessed. And I have to rejoice about this. If there's nothing that can make you happy or full of joy, at least you look at yourself and say, I have life. 
I am living. And that can give you a source of rejoicing and a source of joy. So we have to ask ourselves, especially this week, why is it that I'm always sad or I feel stressed? Why can't I feel that fullness of joy in me? How do I find that joy? We have heard in the scriptures today, the joy could be found in our faith, in our relationship with God. We have heard from the, uh, the Magnificent of the Blessed Virgin Mary that we have just sung in the psalm. My soul proclaims the greatness of God. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. So at least there's something that can give us joy. Our relationship with God must be a source of joy. Even though we know maybe we are not going to celebrate the Christmas with family, we are blessed, we are, have a, a way of communicating, a way of seeing one another at a distance. The first, time, the first time, the Skype, the uh, WhatsApp, the Messenger, we can be able to see each other. You know, I do that, especially with my nieces and nephews in Africa, they do that to me. Sometimes I get upset a little bit because they forget about the difference of time, you know. <laughs> Maybe one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, I'm like, oh boy, you know. You keep on reminding them, you are seven hours ahead of us here. So, but anyway, what I'm saying is we are able to see each other. We are able to call. So even though the Christmas will be different, let us find joy. Let us rejoice. Let us be happy. That is the life of a Christian, happiness. Because even Christ said that to the, his disciples, I came so that you have life to the full and enjoy the life. And that is the message of Christ. Even when we feel sad, look at the blessings that you have as the source of rejoicing, as the source of joy. And when we have that, what happens? We become like John the Baptist. We become people testify for all those people who are sad, all those people who are feeling lonely from our parish, from our communities, we become a testimony to the light of Christ. We help them. And that is what Isaiah is saying. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me. All of us, we are anointed to do what? To bring glad tidings to the poor, especially in this time. Being poor is not just material. Being poor can be loneliness. Being poor can be you know, excluded from the community. We reach out to them. And then we know this time so many people are heartbroken. Heal the brokenhearted. That's what Isaiah is saying. Let's reach out to so many people. This is a rough time, even for our fellow parishioners. People are remembering the beloved ones who have gone back to heaven. It's a rough time. They need us. They need that voice that John the Baptist is saying, I'm not Elijah, I'm not Christ, I'm not a prophet, but a voice, a voice of hope. And that's the way we have to be. There are people in captives, people in prisoners, not physical prisons, but people because of the pandemic who are moving into different kinds of addictions, alcohol, drugs, just to feel better. These are captives. They need us. They need a voice. We cannot be everywhere, but our prayer can reach everywhere. Let us remember these people so that together we can rejoice with them. And all of us here, nobody should be sad. Let's try to have joy. Let's try to be happy and bring that wherever we are. We know those people need us. We are the voice to testify to the light.
Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and he became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the direction of the day and the life of the world to come. To God, our Father, the source of joy, we present our petitions and prayers to him. For Pope Francis and the entire church, may we find ways to be channels of abundant joy, to ease the heavy burdens that others carry, and to be instruments of hope to the weary, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we all be constant in prayer with the spirit of thanksgiving, be wrapped in the cloak of God's integrity, and open to the presence and influence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the peoples of our world still struggling with the coronavirus pandemic be kept safe and blameless in spirit, soul, and body. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May Christians in places of religious persecution be like John the Baptist, a witness <clears throat> to the light of Christ in their situations of fear, danger, and evil. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the dying, and the grieving, for the lonely and the abandoned, for those who find the pressures of this season and the struggles of this pandemic, pandemic too difficult to bear, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all those who have died from our families, parish, and community exalt the joy in the Lord in the heavenly home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in silence, we present our personal petitions and intentions to God. Almighty God and Father, as you receive our prayers this morning, we pray, Lord, that you give us the gift of joy in our hearts in preparation for the celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And let us bring this gift of joy to all, especially those who are lonely. Grant all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our hymn of preparation will be This Little Light of Mine. <clears throat> this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, this little light of mine. 
I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Everywhere I go I'm gonna let it shine Everywhere I go I'm gonna let it shine Everywhere I go I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine Jesus gave it to me I'm gonna let it shine Jesus gave it to me I'm gonna let it shine Jesus gave it to me I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplished for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is through right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the virgin mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with angel and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man and woman in your own image and entrusted the whole world to their care so that in saving you alone, their creator, they might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience they had lost your friendship, you did not abandon them to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again, you offer them covenants, and through the prophets, told them to look forward to salvation. And you so love the world, Father, most holy, that in the fullness of time, you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, 
He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor, I proclaimed the good news of salvation. To prisoners, freedom. And to the sorrow of heart, joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death. And rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bring to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit gracious sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come, for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, and drink, and drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come, until you come. Until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O oh Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and the order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heaven inheritance with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostle and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world, all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let 
the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and to gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
myself away so you can use me I give myself away I give myself away so you can use me here I stand here I am, Lord, my life is in your hands, all my longing to see your desires revealed in me. I give myself away I give myself away so you can use me I give myself away I give myself away so you can use me, take my heart, take my life as a living sacrifice. All my dreams, all my plans, Lord. That's the spirit of Advent to give ourselves away to God that we can be used to be instrument to those people who really need our support and our help. Let us pray. Yeah. 
we implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. Announcements, Johnny. Good morning, everyone. Uh, just want to take this chance, this opportunity to remind everybody our toy party next weekend, the 19th, out in front of the social hall, weather permitting. If not, we'll be inside the social hall. Uh, this weekend is the last day that we're accepting, that we'd like for you to donate for us. However, we will accept, we will accept them if they come a little bit later. But it helps us to get a little bit more organized if we get everything in and there. So if you've got toys to donate, it's not too late, uh, cash and gift card. Also, if you'd like to help, if you'd like to volunteer your time to help us on the 19th, please let me know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other announcements? Birthdays, anniversaries, you know, it's the week of joy, it's the week of rejoicing, so we need to celebrate. Nobody? The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks be to God. We end this Mass by singing soon and very soon. Soon and very soon, we are going to see that. Soon and very soon, we are going to see that. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to We are going to see that soon and very soon. Soon and very soon. We're going to see the king. Soon and very soon. We're going to see the king. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to see that. No more crying there. No more crying there. We are going to see that. No more crying there. No more crying there. We are going to see that. No more crying there. No more crying there. We are going to see that. No more crying there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to see that. Soon and very soon. Soon and very soon. To see that soon and very soon, we are going to see that king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see that. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see that soon and very soon. Soon and very soon, we are. And very soon we are going to see that. Soon and very soon we are going to see that. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the key.